So the current limitations for uh, treating hormone-sensitive metastatic prostate cancer is um, for us as physicians to somehow stratify them according to high volume, low volume, according to high risk and low risk. And according to this, we have the options doxetaxel chemotherapy or abiraterone as in combination with PRET uh, to treat those men with uh, metastatic prostate cancer. So in metastatic HSPC, we have uh, novel options. As of this year, 2019, we had presentation and publication on the ARCHES trial, which uh, uh, showed that enzalutamide is in, uh, one option in MHSPC. We have the Titan publication with apalutamide showing a clinically meaningful PFS advantage and co-primary endpoint was overall survival, a 33% reduction of deaths, so some real good data uh, for enzalutamide and apalutamide in MHSPC patients. As of yet, we have to consider patient factors. We have to consider um, high volume, low volume, high risk, low risk. This will change with uh, um, having data for apalutamide for the all comer population available out of a Titan trial. Um, this is more easy for us to treat. In Titan trial, the patient uh, were allowed to be treated with uh, chemotherapy up front. They were allowed to be treated off local of the prostate. Even surgery was allowed and ADT, and then um, apalutamide was given, showing overall survival and RPFS benefit in, in this indication. Safety profile, um, as we've learned here at ESMO 2019, they, the substances are safe, no new signals of uh, side effects of adverse events. However, when looking at the pros of patient reported outcomes for enzalutamide, there's more uh, deterioration of cognitive function, there's more fatigue, where on the uh, apalutamide side you don't have this, so you have a stable uh, um, no change of uh, patient reported outcomes compared to the arm of just ADT. As of side effects, we have the rash with apalutamide, but this is something uh, which can be easily treated. So here at ESMO, we saw the uh, updated Stampede data on use of chemotherapy in uh, low volume disease, showing that it's also um, a benefit to give chemotherapy. However, uh, patient and also doctors, at least in the German setting and uh, I think probably worldwide, uh, somehow hesitate to uh, use chemotherapy. They are more, um, they want oral treatment, they want treatment that is not affecting uh, the visual, like loose loss of hair and something like this. So I think um, there are some changes and um, chemotherapy will my prediction will somehow go into second or third line, but uh, first line is still in some countries plays a role. But in, with those modern options, I think chemotherapy will be uh, shifted to a later line. So this is already a major breakthrough, I think, in 2019. Next year, we will see um, combination, more combinations, uh, darolutamide and doxetaxel combination trial, the Aracense trial will read out the next years. So um, I'm not sure how this will lead to. Um, hopefully, PARP inhibitors will demonstrate, and we'll see this tomorrow, um, the data on PARC inhibitors on advanced metastatic prostate cancer, and I think this might change a lot. Also the role of biomarkers, of uh, biomarker screening, whether or not you have uh, a BRCA mutation or ATM mutation, this will change in the future years.